Hello, everybody in Integrated Science. This is Miss Nook, your science teacher, and I have slides for you today. I will put them in the Google Classroom so that you can refer back to them. There isn't much information on them today because this week you are going to be doing two things. Number one, your learning objective for today is that you can do a web quest and find out what your impact is on the environment by filling out a worksheet. I do have that worksheet. It is already downloaded from this website. This is the website you will be going to. That link will be provided to you in the Google Classroom. You need to go through this and click on the links to find out what these things are. Uh, I will have the sub down, uh, download the worksheet and print that out. I've already sent that off to be printed for you because you're going to write your answers after you use the website with these links that are here for you to click on to get the answers. It goes in order, so please make sure that you read the instructions carefully on this web quest and fill out what you're supposed to fill out on the worksheet. Do the best that you can. If you don't know what your family's um, impact is, make a wild guess. Just think about a year and think about a typical year in your family. You will go through all of these steps, and the last thing is you will turn that into the basket. You will not print these out and submit them online, you will turn those in to the basket. Also, I would like you to go over those with your classmates and find out who has the biggest carbon footprint and who has the smallest carbon footprint in the classroom. That's always a fun to see and to find out why that is um, and also to find any mistakes that you might have. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go back to do last week's assignment that I understand a lot of you had problems with understanding what the carbon footprint is of a particular product. So that's why I've um, directed you to do this web quiz first so that you can get those, get that idea in your brain and then go back to do last week's assignment. I'm gonna do an example, a brief example for you to, um, right here so that you can see what I'm looking for uh, and follow that uh, in the classroom on your own product that you will be doing, I think, with a partner. So you'll need to go back to last week's assignment. Also, just a reminder that this Friday is a half day, so please plan accordingly. And also Saturday from seven until noon, we will be having Beat Back Buffalo Grass Day at the school and Swan Wash Project Work Day too out at the wash and I hope to see you there. I will be there on Saturday. I'm in charge of the sign in and the waivers for liability. So please make sure to come out there and help out. We need all the help we can get. So I'm gonna go back to last week's assignment so that you can see um, what I asked you to do. And that was you had to read the article that was on the Google Classroom that's still there. Um, look at the graph that is there and you were assigned uh, with, at your table, something from that graph. There are 20 items on that graph and you had to um, look at those. I want you to think about what the raw materials are that you need for the product you were assigned. And I think that was what was holding a lot of you up. So I'm going to do that with an example of my own. Also, you're going to, uh, for your assignment, create a timeline or a diagram of the creation of the product that you get from the materials that you uh, came up with from the raw materials. So I'm going to do that and show you how that's done. I'm going to actually do this on a slide because it will be easier to do the shapes and the lines. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my computer. None of you are allowed to use the computer as your example since I am doing that. And I don't know, I can't remember if the computer is on that graph. If it is, then you are down to 19 choices to be assigned. And so I'm going to title this Computer Raw Materials. and I'm going to do a new slide. I'm going to apply a layout, which is going to be a blank. And I'm going to uh, put a circle in the middle. I'm just gonna use a circle. You could do this on scratch paper first before you do it digitally to send to me. 
I'm going to put a text box in that circle so I can type in there and I'm going to type computer. I'm also going to change that to a size that will fit. Okay. Now, I'm looking at my computer and I am thinking that some of the raw materials that go into making this computer are the plastic. So I'm going to do plastic. I'm going to add a line for what else goes into this computer. Just looking is the, um, the components that are in there. And I'll adjust that so that it fits. I can change the text box size or the font size. I'm going to think about the, what else is in my computer? Oh, the glass that's on my screen. So I'm going to put that on here. This is, these are the, basically the ingredients for making my computer. I'm just going to use those three for right now for, so that you have an idea of what I'm looking for. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of those items and expand upon it. So where does plastic come from? Where do the components, what are the components, first of all, in the computer where, and where do they come from? And where does the glass come from? So I'm going to expand upon the components a little bit. And I know that there are some metal. There's metal in here. And I don't know what those, what metal is in a computer, so I would have to look that up. Uh, but I do know that uh, there is, let's see, some gold. So I'll go ahead and put that there. I'm sure there is some copper for the electric part, so I'll put that there. I'm using what I think I know. There is definitely some research involved in this so that you can be sure what raw materials go into making your uh, product. I'm going to leave that simple for right now is gold and copper. Um, also in the components, I'm thinking the inside of the computer, so I'm going to leave that there. Here for the plastic that's on the outside of the computer, I know that plastic comes from oil. So the raw material that goes into making the plastic actually comes from oil. So I'm going to put oil there. And it's refined oil. It comes, and I'm going to have to adjust the line so that it looks like it's connected. All right. Um, the glass that comes from, that's on the screen, Actually, if you didn't know, glass is made from sand. So I'm going to put sand and connect that with a line. And basically what you're going to want to do, it's not that complicated, but you want to go backwards to the raw material. So everything on the outside of your diagram should be a raw material. It's something you can actually find on or in the earth. It does not require a human being to make it. And that is my example. So that's how I want you to do that assignment from last week. Please make sure you give that to me by Friday. And if you have any questions, please ask your subs so they can ask me. Thank you very much.